What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. The Rillaboom raids have been live for a couple of days now, so today I'll be going over the best way that you can solo these raids in case you don't have access to a group. Round 1 does end this Sunday, so if you haven't gotten your Rillaboom yet or you're just trying to farm these raids as much as possible, you definitely won't want to miss out on this build. And another thing that you don't want to miss out on is these exclusive t-shirts that I've been making, which will go away on the 31st, so feel free to send me a message in my Discord if you did want to order one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the solo raid build. Fight. Fight. So before we hop into this solo raid build, let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly you'll be going up against when you do get into these Rillaboom raids. So per usual, Rillaboom will be level 100 as this is a seven star raid and it will of course have that normal Terra type. It's also not holding any items. It does, however, have access to its hidden ability, which is Grassy Surge, which does set up grassy terrain once the raid starts. Moveset-wise, it does have access to Drum Beating, Acrobatics, Body Slam, and Low Kicks. And you already know that Acrobatics is gonna hurt because it's not holding an item. However, in addition to this main moveset, it does also get access to Bulk Up, Growth, as well as Boom Burst. I warned you guys, if you watched my initial video, I told you that they were gonna do something like that and throw Boom Burst on it. Even though it's a special attack and he's a physical attacker. That thing still hurts, by the way. But just a couple of things to keep in mind when you do go into these raids. So it is going to be raising its own stats and it is going to have those stab normal type moves. However, the good news is that if you did watch my initial video for how I showed how you can go into these raids with a group, you probably already have the Pokemon that you need in order to solo the raids, which would be none other than Corviknight. Corviknight is usually a flying and steel type. However, I do have the fighting Terra type on mine and I do have it holding a citrus berry for a little bit of HP recovery. You can also choose a different type of HP recovery if you would like, or you can even put something like an expert belt on it as well. I've seen it go either way, but I like my old faithful citrus berry. EV spread wise, this is going to be the exact same EVs that it had when I did make my initial video. So it is going to be full HP and full defense with a defense nature. And that's because moveset wise, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go with iron defense, body press, screech, and roost. Which of course the amount of damage that body press does goes based off of Corviknight's defense stat, which is why we're focusing so much on Corviknight's defense stat. However, another very important move that you do wanna have on there is screech, since that's what's gonna lower Rillaboom's defense stats by two stages. So if you get three three of those off, which is what's recommended, then you would be able to get it to minus six. The only caveat to Screech is that it's not a 100% accuracy move. So if you do get unlucky and you do miss a Screech, it could put you a little bit behind. Realistically, before I went into this raid, I probably should have PP upped Roost, but hindsight is 2020. Clearly this is a pretty straightforward strategy. So let's go ahead and hop into the raid so you can see exactly how the strategy works. So like I mentioned, the first thing that's gonna happen in this raid is that Grassy Surge is gonna be activated, which sets up grassy terrain. However, Rillaboom is also going to use growth turn zero. So it will get a special attack as well as an attack boost, but we should be fine, we're bulky. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up my screeches because you do have to get off these screeches before the shield goes up since they do not go through the shield. Of course I got critted, but at least we landed our first screech. I always get critted in everything, so I'm not surprised, but I'm gonna go ahead and go for screech number two. Like I said, ideally you do wanna try to get three off. Two would work as well if you keep missing or something like that. But we did happen to land our second Screech, so love that for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my third Screech off and we'll see if we get lucky and get three for three. These low kicks are gonna hurt a little bit, but like I said, we're bulky, we should be fine. And I have my Citrus Berry for HP recovery as well. And if you need to, you also have Roost. So let's see if we land our third Screech is good to go. Look, you know what? It, I, I'll take the crit because at least we got all three Screeches off. So now at this point, I am gonna go ahead and go for a Roost because as you can see, he just put his shield up, which happens around turn four and he's gonna clear stats soon. So I don't wanna start setting up any iron defenses for them to just get cleared. So I wanna go ahead and first of all, live. So <laughs> let me go ahead and recover my HP. And then after he clears stats, I can then start going in with my iron defenses. So we got our HP recovery and here comes the stat nullification. So now we are good to go ahead and start setting up those iron defenses. And what you're gonna wanna do just because he did use another growth is probably alternate between your iron defenses and your roost, depending on how low you do get. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for my first iron defense here. 
As you can see, I am now at about half health and I don't really wanna risk <laughs> getting any lower than that because then I would have to reset up everything and obviously we're good on time. So I am gonna go ahead and go for a roost on this one. And I'm just gonna keep alternating until I get three iron defenses off. And if you are good on HP recovery, you could also do a body press in between your iron defenses just so you can start getting those hits on Rillaboom so that you can terrestrialize sooner. So I'm gonna go for another roost here since I just hit my second iron defense. Here's another low kick. I'm about half health. Set up my roost. And now I can go ahead and go for my third iron defense. These low kicks are not doing too much damage, which we love to see because the more iron defenses we get off, the bulkier we get. And so now at this point, I'm pretty free to just go ahead and spam body press. And as you can see, like I said, we're doing great on time. We don't have to rush or anything. I can just go ahead and focus on knocking out the shield and making sure that I can terrestrialize. But once I'm able to terrestrialize, you'll be able to see how big of a hit you're able to get after those iron defenses. Oh, he's poisoned too, I just realized. So that works in my favor as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more body press. Boom, and we're almost done with the shield as well, and that's without even terrestrializing, so we love that. So now I'm able to terrestrialize, so I'll go for another body press, which should bring it to somewhere in the yellow. And obviously things like acrobatics are gonna hurt a lot more now that we're a pure fighting type. However, we should still be good to go. So here is the body press, now terrestrialized, got rid of the shield, and we are now in the yellow. So now I'm gonna go ahead and roost just to make sure that my HP is good to go since like I said, those acrobatics are gonna hurt a lot more now and just keep spamming body press at this point. There goes the acrobatics. As you can see, it does do quite a good chunk despite the fact that we are extremely bulky right now. Here comes another acrobatics, brings me to about half health. I should be good to go for another body press. That acrobatics definitely brought me a little lower than I would have liked. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal after this. Here comes a drum beating. Now I am at 83. Yeah, I definitely need to heal here, but at least, you know, my lovely ability is coming in handy. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go for my last roost, which means I'm definitely gonna have to rely on heal cheers. I probably should have PP up to roost, but you know, here we are, it's fine. We're still doing fine. We got plenty of time and I'm nowhere near fainting. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go for another body press and that should bring us pretty low, which it did. Here comes an acrobatics. I'm in the red now, so I am going to go for a heal cheer here just because I don't wanna lose my terrestrialization. All right, now that we're all healed up, I should be able to just knock it out with one more body press. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for that after I get hit by another acrobatics, which, mm, hate that. Oh, we love a double attack. Okay, I'm at 54 HP. But like I said, we're fine. I should be able to be in range for a one hit KO at this point. And boom, yep. That was all that we needed. We are now good to go. And here are your lovely item drops that you are able to get in this raid, but it's pretty straightforward strategy, I would say. And it's pretty comfy as well. I was never like scared for my life or anything. So I'd say it's a pretty solid strategy. Like I mentioned, you can definitely be a little bit more nitpicky with this build. For example, like I said, you can start body pressing a little bit earlier if you do want to get those hits in sooner so that you can terrestrialize sooner. You can use PP ups like I forgot to so that you don't have to rely on a heal cheer like me. You can use different items. And I'm sure there's also a ton of other Pokemon that you can also bring into these raids in order to solo it. So if you do have any other build suggestions or Pokemon that you use to solo these raids, make sure that you leave them down below in the comments. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you were already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below that takes you to not only my merch store, but also so all of my other socials, like my Discord, so that you can cop one of these bad boys, but also keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.